Peace, 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 love and light, my star family. This is the quick article, article from Russia Today from the World News section. Um, this article is published September third, twenty nineteen. I, I waited for somebody to at least like at least tap on this subject, but fifty murders per day. Over four hundred and fifty thousand South Africans endorsed death penalty in wake of grisly murders. Over 450,000 South Africans have signed a petition calling for the death penalty to be reintroduced following several high-profile murders and widespread violence. The campaign was set up after a student union mortuaire was raped and murdered at a post office in Cape Town. Its founder cited several other high-profile deaths, including the 2013 killing of Mato Riva Stencap, who, who was shot dead by her boyfriend. Oscar Pasatores as the inspiration for the petition. We as a movement must find our voice to bring back the death sentence for crimes against women and children in the hope of saving this great country. The petition reads, I feel like the death penalty, even though it, people don't like it, whether it's good or bad, I feel like it's necessary. It's needed because it's very necessary because how else are we supposed to get the message that hey we don't support that shit we don't they don't support that shit out there i feel like the death penalty um i mean both spectrums of, of it being good or bad is still the same but it's needed to restore balance um the most recent crime statistics reveal that there are twenty thousand. 336 murders in South Africa between April 2017 and March 2018, a 7% increase as the previous year. This puts the country's murder rate at 57 murders each day. That's that's terrible. The fact that we, us, us as, I mean, Aboriginal people in our country, because it's not just happening in South Africa, it's happening here in America, but I'll say it's happening here in America at a more alarming rate. Than I would say in South Africa, but I wouldn't know 100%. But just all what I hear and what I see in the news, um, yeah, America needs some cleaning up to do. The U.S. has some cleaning up to do. But as far as this, I feel like the death penalty, even though, even though, for the ones that I feel like people gonna people gonna thumb down this video or they'll they'll look at me like, oh, it's you're 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 terrible the death penalty should not be enacted well i feel like it should be because it will teach rapists and child molesters and women abusers and women killer to, to it will teach them a lesson it will teach them that hey we don't support that shit and you just getting a, a a slap on the wrist and some jail time won't it won't it won't do you no good it's not justifiable whatever is justifiable is what will will stop and bring this madness to an end so here we got a picture of these people protesting because of what happened and they're angry that the shit keeps continuing the body of 19 year old Maritana was found on monday the suspect as a post office employee has appeared in court charged with her murder and raped after he confessed now what kind of shit is that you're just gonna you're gonna kill a woman and rape her or rape and kill her like what was the purpose for it like what was the motivation to do that for Cause, cause you wanted, you wanted a little, you wanted a little action, so she didn't want to give it to you, so you killed her and then raped her. That's that's pathetic. So something like that, something like that, is justifiable with death penalty. Why not? Shoot, we need to restore order, law and order and balance. And if and if our and if our own governments won't do the death penalty, then hey, eventually what comes around goes around. Say so it's that's that's all I can say on that topic right there at the same time like we have to protect our children and our wives and our, our women <laughs> i mean and that that's from anybody not just from our own race of people but that's from that's from every that's from everybody around the world that's from anybody protect mine i'll protect mine from anybody it don't, it don't matter what what color you got on your on, on your body your skin or whatever it doesn't matter it's called law and order has to be maintained balance at the same time, there is no balance when people can just go scot free and just get jer just get jail time and then they'll sit in jail while the system still has to deal with them for like the next 20, 30 years. As if they make it that long, but it's ridiculous. Say so just call it call it like it call it like it is. Take them out. Take them out. So they'll they'll get the message. They'll get the message and then people will be like, Well, what if that was you? Well, you can't put that on me because it's not me. 
I have my right state of mind. And I know good and well that shit's not right. That's not normal. That's that's pathetic. Raping and killing women. It just for, for what the hell? For what? Over four hundred and fifty thousand South Africans are signing a petition to call in for the death penalty. And I, and I agree with them. Why not? For death penalty penalty, at least when people knew that there was a death penalty, people was acting right. Now that there's no death penalty, people are just going all crazy and savage. They're all savages. So yes, this death penalty, yes, I, I agree with it. I'm going to end this video right here, my star family. Um, like I said, maybe this death penalty will, will put a lot of these degenerate men and women in line. Make them act right and recognize, hey, you can't do this. And matter of fact, you, you can't make a, a rapist recognize what he did was wrong. He know what was wrong and he knew what he did was wrong. So, I mean, at that point, there ain't no more talking, ain't no more discussion. It's called, man, take him out. But like I said, I'm going to end it right here in my star family. I love y'all. I'm out of here. Um, keep y'all posted for more videos. I'm out.